Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground at the San Jose Convention Center at the Intuit QuickBooks event. It's their second event they've ever had, QuickBooks Connect 2015. About 5,000 people, developers, uh, accountants, and small businesses really coming together in the, in the QuickBooks ecosystem, talking about next-gen accounting and really helping entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship grow, supporting entrepreneurship. So really excited to have a key pe uh, person in this whole thing, Leslie Barber, Small Biz Engagement Officer at Intuit. Welcome. Thank you. And you said you were you were the entrepreneur not that I was. long ago, so I you're on the other side of the shoes. equation. That's right. So ten years ago, I started a company called Nutribella. Um, spent eight years as running that company with my business partner, and then decided I was going to leap back over to to Intuit to try to help foster um, small business success, to try to bring the experiences I had as a main street business owner right. um, to a technology company like Intuit that serves small businesses. So what are some of the things you're specifically doing to help small businesses beyond just giving them software and helping them with the software? Obviously this is a great event um, that we're doing you know, for small businesses right. to come and learn, get really practical, um, pragmatic tips that they can take. Um, they get to get be inspired as well as be educated, connect with other small business owners. In addition, we've also launched a really cool network called Own It can often be so, um, you know, isolating to run your own business. You have to make all the decisions right, by yourself. Right. And Own It is a great way online where small businesses can connect with each other, uh, ask questions, answer questions, and really help move their business forward. So do you, do you find that, that people look at, at the QuickBooks community as a place you know, to, to build community with other entrepreneurs? Yeah, that's what we hope for. So Own It is, I mean, there's 75,000 small business owners in Own It. So that is a huge community, and it's really not about the product. It's really about how do you move your business forward? How do we fuel your success in general as a small business owner? Right. So it's a great way that we can show um, our customers and non-customers that we're here for the long haul. We're really here to help them build their business. And then, and obviously, cloud, uh, mobile, social, these things have opened up a whole new world. QuickBooks is now in the cloud. How has that really changed the relationship with with the small business owners from the old days where I waited for my once a year you know, CD to come to come. So yeah. true. Well, the average small business owner uses 18 different apps to run their business. So having the technology in the cloud can really help them connect. Um, who wants to do double data entry, right? Let's get it all talking to each other. There's so many QuickBooks apps that have just you know, really helped small business owners manage and run their business more seamlessly. Right. And so by by enabling them to do that, it just makes it so that they can spend more time on what they love, which is growing their business and less time on the running of the business, if you will. Now you were in a session earlier today. What were some of the topics you covered in your session with folks in the day? So I joined Julie Gordon Way and we did lessons learned from growing a one million dollar business and how you can too. She did the how you can too and I did the lessons learned. So my business grew very quickly, um, very fast, but we hit some stumbling blocks with the economy. And so I, back in 2008, right? And so I talked about the different lessons that I've learned about how to, if you really want to grow your business from 100,000 to a million, or a million to 10 million, you need to stay distraction free. You need to be focused on the prize, focused on your passion, focused on your customer, solving a problem for them, not just creating a solution really solving that problem. So it's a lot of what we talked about. But still, even when you're doing that and you're growing your business, there's the, there's the kind of staying focused and then there's that kind of all the ancillary stuff that comes with growing a business. How, how do you, what advice would you give to people to help kind of take care of all this other, that is distraction, but it's a necessary distraction yeah. to really grow that top line and get out there with your customers? You know, one of the things that i found is that there are so many people out there who love to do what I hate to do. So, quite frankly, find those people who love to do what you hate to do. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I think it's so helpful for small business owners to have an accountant. Because not all small business owners want to do accounting, and they seem to be more successful when they have an accountant. And so that could be a good example, or finance lawyer, legal, whatever it might be. You don't have to be the jack of all trades, master of many. You can be the, you know, person who's kind of moving the business forward, focusing on revenue, focusing on your vision, and then get people to help you. Yeah, you can't tip. make a million dollars on your own. No, yeah, that's a great tip. Help. Find the experts that can help you, let them be the best at what they do, that's and help exactly, you do what you do. That's exactly right. And then now you've got this developer ecosystem. I don't know the people who are, maybe just not me, aware of, of kind of the, the Intuit developer ecosystem to build new apps, specialty apps. So how has that community kind of grown and engaged and really helped the entrepreneurs directly? Well, it's grown significantly. I mean, you imagine 18 different apps for every small business owner. You know, we've got to have a way that those talk to each other. I actually was a judge for the hackathon last night, and it was so much fun to see in 36 hours what people were able to create to really make the small business owner's life a lot easier. 
So it's it's absolutely critical. I mean, small business owners are usually one or two people in the company. Right. They can't do everything. So these apps can really help them save time, save money, and move their business forward. So terrific stuff. So what are you working on next? What's kind of on your agenda, your plate for the next three months? Yeah, I'm all about Own It right now. So Own It's our network of small business owners. It's all online. It's um, a where community people, Where do people go to, to get involved? They can go to ownit.com and they can download our app through iTunes. Um, we will soon have one on the Android platform as well. Right now they can use our, our web mobile platform. And we have over 75,000 people who are ready and excited to connect. You can connect with people locally, you can connect with people around the globe, ask your questions, get some answers. So I'm gonna be throwing my heart and soul into that. Awesome. Well, Leslie, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your busy day. I know you gotta run to another appointment because Leslie's all about engagement. She's engaging with more people. So awesome. congratulations on a great show. Thanks for stopping by. Meet you, Jeff. Yeah, Absolutely. Jeff. So Jeff Rick here, we are at the Intuit QuickBooks Connection 2015. Thanks for watching.